It's the ultimate edition, Brad. Yeah? Ultimate. Ultimate. What does ultimate mean? To the final, right? I mean, the last. Oh, okay. This is it. No like, more Gears of War. Top of the heap? Yeah. This is Gears of War Ultimate Edition. It's a remake of, uh, it's a, like a, yeah, not, no, not a remake. Is it? Not a remake. As as people who are tasked with corralling the history of every version of every video game, uh, it is this, this thing has been a weird question to answer. <laughs> it is a reissue of Gears of War. Okay. Uh, with some updated visuals, uh, and and some other some other updates. Uh, our, our, our answer to the question was to not make a separate wiki page. For exactly. This. this this is Gears of War re-released. Uh, Forty dollars. There's a sixty dollar bundle. Comes with a bunch of weapon skins, which I think we have uh, access to here. Gosh, uh, where to start? Let's look at just a section of Gears of War. Okay. Um, that looks kind of nice, I guess. Ooh, that glows. Okay, yeah, some, some emulsion here. Let's uh, traverse the caves. That's just a lot of walking. You know what? Any a, lot, talking? a lot of this game is a lot of walking and talking. Uh, we'll just play normal, just to get a sense for it. It's, uh, it's Gears of War. Uh, you've played a little bit of this yes. prior to release. I played the first 30, 45 minutes. I really like, I really liked Gears of War when uh, it was initially released nine years ago. Sure, uh, it's, it was an incredible game. Uh, it did so much for, like, it, it popularized so many things ar around like cover systems, yeah. um, a co-op. Um, it ushered in Unreal Engine 3, which was kind of the engine of the Xbox yes. 360 in I a mean, lot of ways. This was like the first major graphical kind of showpiece for the for the 360. Yeah, games. so it's sort of... It's also super dark. It's also Think super dark. Here. I can't see There's shit. There's krill shit everywhere. Ha. Huh. All right, enough. Let's get this done and get out of here before the krill come back. Arguably John DiMaggio's defining performance. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Maybe maybe a little more so in Gears 2 or 3. Yeah. So, because of the, how influential this game was, this reissue kind of sucks. Hmm. Uh, because it, every everything iterated on Gears of War. Yeah. For the, a lot of that generation, a lot Even, of this, a lot of this stuff, a lot of the let, yeah. get me into cover, get me out of cover, like all that sort of stuff. Like games just started having that. Yeah. Uh, even, even even games that weren't necessarily just shooters first, you know, like yeah. everything, every kind of action game eventually felt this need to have a cover system. Right. Uh, and that's still the case in a lot of ways. And, and also, even Gears of War iterated on Gears of War. <laughs> yeah, totally. Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, you know, the horde mode, all that sort of stuff, like, uh, you know, that was, they were great additions. Um, Gears of War 1 is really hard to go back to mm. because it is so, so one-dimensional uh, in a lot of the performances and a lot of the, the pacing of the story. Uh, it is every bit the brown shooter that people went on to talk shit about in the years following, you know? Right, right. Uh, it's, it has not aged well. Right. Uh, even with this graphical touch-up, uh, which is not actually that great. Uh, I think it looks all right. I mean, this. Hey, I mean, you, you know, we could go back to original Gears of War, and and you would, it would say it's like night and day. Like you look at this and go, yes. like, man, that game looks like trash yeah. now. I, I played a little um, bit of 360 Gears One right before I played this version. Yeah, and yeah. yeah the, the, the side by side, the difference is pretty stark. But take this side by side with like you know a lot of other modern oh, yeah, no, games, um, yeah, that's and not this, this doesn't hold up. This yeah. doesn't look like a 2015 release. No, this is not up to. Um, yeah, and you know, it's like the I, the frame rate. Is not great, you know. It, well, I mean, whatever. It, it's okay? mostly stable at around 30 frames per second, uh, but it's not. It also we takes some hits here and there in some okay. situations, uh, which was kind of shocking to me. We'll see you there. Like the technical end of it is just weird. Like I got into remember the Brumac fight. You go yes. outside and fight the Brumac. Uh -huh. I got to the point where you have to go outside, and it didn't draw outside. Weird. It just. Uh, it just drew the skybox, basically, and you know the, the ground under it, the water under it, and stuff like that. And I sat there for 30 seconds, and eventually the ground filled in, and I could walk out and fight the fucking Brumac. That's really weird. Uh, so it's just like it's it's just a little. Ah, well, you gotta hide behind stuff. Whatever. It's a game of patience. It's not a game of talking your way through the history of Gears of War while shooting things. Sure. Um, so yeah, technically a little rough around the edges in campaign mode in a way that like I don't I don't think does justice to this game. Like to to remake Gears of War One, you would need to remake Gears of War One. Yeah, they uh, they said when I went to the preview event that they you know they're still on Unreal Three, they're still on the engine that ran the original game. That's sucks. Uh, that sucks. Like Gears of War, I, you know, say what you will, you know, the the judgment sucked. It was, or judgment was was unfortunate. 
Jesus, uh, focused on kind of a rough part of the story. And, you know, it's like, who cares about Baird? Baird yes. sucks. Um, it's the one, the one thing we could all agree on. Yeah, yeah. But like Gears of War three, I thought was an amazing game. Yeah, yeah. Three, three was absolutely the pinnacle of the series. Yeah, and like, I think like you know, it, it's weird because I, I, on one hand, when they got out there and said, "Hey, we're making Gears of War 4, I was just like, "Well, okay." I mean, I really liked Gears of War three, but also so much has changed. Yeah. In terms of cover shooters and all that sort of stuff, like you know. When they say they're making another Gears of War, like like they have to redo large pieces of what it means to be a Gears of War game. Yep. And I feel like the stuff they showed at E3 didn't necessarily look like enough of that, yeah. but we don't know enough about it to say. What I can say is that this game has aged quite poorly, and there's just a lot of animation that just looks kind of bad here. Like stuff that like if they actually took the time to do such a such an influential game justice. Uh, a, it would have been so much work for them that it probably wouldn't have been worth their sure. time anymore. Uh, and and B, it would be a very different yeah, thing. Yeah, it would have come out the other end looking like a different game almost. Yeah, and and that's what I think. Like this probably needed like the way they remade Resident Evil. You right. Know? Yes. Like it needed that level of care, and this is definitely not that. Um, but it's forty bucks. Yeah. So you know, I, I think it's up to everyone individually to decide if like how that balance works out for them in their head. For me, like this, this is this was a boring time playing through this campaign again. Uh, just you know, dialogue and on all that sort of stuff. Like this is too, it's actually literally too dark for me to see how to walk off this platform. I think those are stairs. Okay, uh, that, that's more or less how I felt about it. Like I wasn't necessarily enjoying every shootout I was getting into. Like it was kind of interesting from a like a, just a nostalgic standpoint. Yeah, which is it was like, interesting, and then also like it sort of bummed me out. Well, it, it in, in one sense it bummed me out that I am now nostalgic about the release of the first Gears of War. Like that is a little strange. To, to yeah, think, but, well, but yes, yeah. Mainly to you know to think that it's just it's just shy of a decade since that game <laughs> yeah. came out. Like how did that happen? Ah, uh, yeah. Where did the time go? Uh, we were also young then. Yes. Cliff Blazinski with his sunglasses on in the and credits. The chains. This is post chains. Was it? Mm. This is yeah. That was Unreal era. Okay. Uh, Cliff sure. Chains is, is like chain, you know, his, chains. Un, his Unreal like, piece. Like hair parted down the middle. Um, goatee. Yeah. This is that. That. This is post chains pre. Like, but also still goatee. Okay. Uh, still kind of hair part. We could watch the credits. We should look at the picture. We if could you want. do that. Um. But yeah, this game has a lot of like clunky AI. Like yeah. I ran into some situations where the enemies just didn't activate, and I was able to just shoot them. Mm. Um, ran a lot of situations where, you know, it has this rudimentary kind of squad tactic stuff, but, like, it doesn't work for shit. Is that something they added from the later games? I don't know if Gears... I, I, I want to say Gears 1 had it, but I can't tell okay. you for sure. I know that I know they added a very few, like, kind of later mechanics from the subsequent games yeah. to this. But, like, there are spots where, like, Dom just stops, mm. or your whole squad just stops, and you're running well ahead, and you're like, hold down the Y button to see where Dom is at, and it turns, and it's just like it's, you're just staring at a wall somewhere. Because uh, you have no idea where he is. He's just standing still somewhere doing jack shit. Uh, oh, yeah. And so that that's all in here. I remember some of that happening with the original game. That guy's just hanging out. But it definitely kind of stuck out a little more oh, now he's shooting. nine years later uh, when the rest of the game oh, wasn't yeah. like this tour de force, like technical showpiece. Right. Uh, you know, like a lot of the shortcomings of Gears of War become far more difficult to overlook. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, it was, it was it was a first game in a new franchise on a new platform. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like it's it's kind of natural that it would be. I don't want to say like a prototype, but it was kind of a proof of concept in some ways. You know, like they 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 built on it so much. It was a wonderful game in its own right, but absolutely, the, the sequels did so much. Like, um, so it seems like where they spent their time uh, is actually um, in the multiplayer, yeah. where you do see 60 frames a second, and you do see like spotting mechanics and stuff that right. I so believe didn't come in until Gears that, 3. That's where I think most of the later mechanics are inserted into this thing. Yeah, so like this seems like it's a thing where if you care about Gears of War multiplayer, then maybe this makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of... As this thing is coming to focus and we've played some of it, that seems like where the value is in this thing. Uh... It's got a, a lot of maps. I think it's like you know, and and they did some work there. In fact, let's that? just you know, let's let's stop with this. Oh, it's so dark. Um, I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, do you want to see any more campaign? It's got uh, the, it's got the jump and jump. It's got the co-op. It's got two-player co-op. You can join other people's games. Maybe on the load fly. into one other section for just like a minute. Okay. Something a little brighter. Just see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, 
upload previous chapter. Have you finished this thing? Yeah. Played through the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, let's go to Act 1 before it's nighttime then. Uh, and... Yeah, we'll use the, we'll use the hammer of dawn. Okay. I'm trying to remember what even happened in this game. Uh, you have to. You're supposed to be delivering. You're supposed to be mapping the locust tunnels. Okay. So the light mass uh, bomb. But okay. So you're supposed to be using the resonator. Okay. Okay. So you're Delta Squad. Yes. Alpha Squad is missing. They have the resonator. You right. find Alpha Squad. You get the resonator. Okay. Then you have to get down to the tunnels, deploy the resonator, right. which is supposed to map the tunnels to make room for the light mass bomb. Okay. The resonator doesn't do a good job at mapping the tunnels, so you're fucked. But then it turns out this weird sphere that Baird is fucking with has all the mapping data oh, just randomly, and it turns out Marcus Phoenix's dad uh, built all that mapping data. Okay. So then you have to go back to the Phoenix family compound yes. and right. break into the secret lab and get the mapping data. Then you have to link up with the train that has the light mass bomb right. and upload that data to the light mass bomb to but then do uh, massive damage to the locust uh, forces. Then you fight General Rom on the train. Yeah, you fight General Rom on the train and then that's the end of the game. And roll credits. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's just you're just shooting a bunch of hissing snake men one after the other yeah. and some of them hiss in English and most of them don't and yeah. And then this guy eventually opens this fucking door and Dom starts staring at this door up close and we can go save Cole. Sometimes it's Jack that rips the door. Yes, Jack rips the door. Uh, like, there's the technology of this game is fucking weird, of this world. Yeah. Like, Here's this, all this fucking weird, like, mechanical buttons and fucking all this, like, fucked up, steampunky, old-looking shit. And then you just have a cloaked fucking robot right. that rolls with you the whole time. You can just cut through doors and upload mapping data and all this other shit. And you're just like, what the fuck? Why don't we just use the robot to do all this stuff? It's fucking cloaked. Also, one of your squad mates is a professional football player. Thrashball. Thrashball, Thrashball sure. Yeah, okay. Where's the rest right. of your squad? They're sitting tight over into the... I'm sure the TFL will, uh, left, or, uh, the... Wait, I totally fucked that up, didn't I? You did. Sorry. The NTL. The Saren Football League. Yes, there we go. <laughs> also, the planet is called Sarah. That's right, yeah. That's, this isn't Earth. Yes. That doesn't really matter at all. Sure. Cedar's our top priority, sir. Agreed. We need to reestablish radio contact with control ASAP. When I say this makes me nostalgic, it mostly just makes me think about all the crazy cool stuff that they were doing on early 360. You know? Yeah, like yeah. back back when you know, achie achievements were still new and novel. You had a console that launched that was like online, and an online service was like a core part of it. Right, and like all that stuff was fun. Like even the idiotic gamer pictures that we were all making fun of and using a lot were. were I stupid. still have that Pringles dude. Yeah, like I'm still using Will Smith from Men in Black Three. Yeah. Uh, At one point, they thought people would pay real money for those. Right. I think uh, I may have actually paid real money for one at one point. But. You know, they're in, you know, like weird, weird stuff like View Pinata came out around the same time as this game. Like, yeah. it was just a fun time to be playing games on a 360. What the hell was that? Yeah, and, there was, there was a, lot of, a lot of good, important stuff. And this, this game kind of reminds me of that, but. The roadie run. People were excited at one point about the ability to run. Yeah. Well, like in this game, because the, the way they implemented it, you know, the camera loaded, like the shake on the camera, like that was, you know, people were still experimenting with stuff like that back then. Like you didn't get a lot of handheld camera effects. <laughs> it's a weird, yeah, and stuff. Like it was still a big deal back then. Jack is ripping that door. We're gonna have to fight some stuff while he does so yep. because this is Gears of War. I never thought of the locust as snakes before. I, yeah, so I, I was writing the review for this, and I needed to figure out a way to describe the locust. And I thought about like they're just weird, seething, hissing yeah. fucking snake men. I guess they are a reptilian, basically. I never really stopped to ponder like what they are, what the nature of them is. I actually I, I had to read a wiki to try to figure out where they came from and and what they were because I had forgotten. Is is there an answer for that? Uh, there eventually is an, is something of an answer of that later on in the series. You don't get that here because because this also watching this also reminds me how many how many questions they left unanswered at the end of three. Yeah. Everywhere. Yep. Like so many hanging threads that you thought were gonna get wrapped up and it's just like nope, game's over. I felt like two was uh was like a good little story that answers some questions but kind of asks more than it answers. Yeah. Um, was the queen in two? The queen is at the end of one. Is she really? Uh, the, the queen is at the beginning of one, I think, actually, uh, her voice. Like, in terms of just, like, gameplay, no. Like, the, but okay. the, the queen is definitely referenced. Damn it. 
Oh, think, come on. I wonder I wonder if Marcus will show up at all in the new one. I, I would Ew. think he would have to? I don't know. Something like, it was all new characters wrong. in that E3 demo, right? It was, yeah. Nasty, man. Nasty. Get your heads back in the fight, soldiers. Focus. Let's use the Hammer of Dawn, and then you I'll show you a little multiplayer. Over here and take these weapons. So the thing that happened over the years don't is that uh, everyone who you. really, really liked Gears of War multiplayer got inc incredibly good at it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then anyone who moved on and played other games didn't. Yep. So my experience playing multiplayer back when they released the beta for this around E3, and hey, what are we doing? Are you gonna open this fucking door? Are we? What are we doing? Uh, the door's open. Thanks, dog. Thanks, red. Uh oh. Oh boy. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Seemed like you just tickled that thing. It takes two shots. It's fun to just use the Hammer of Dawn yeah. on just like single enemies. Sure. Does the thing just have unlimited usage? Yeah, so its satellites have to be overhead, oh, right. so they it govern it with story, yeah. like kind of checkpoint progress. Like, right. here's the part where you use the hammer. Right. And there's always a hammer right when you need one, so definitely don't ever take a hammer with you longer than you need a hammer. Yeah, whoa! Bring it on, baby! All right, I feel like we've had the definitive yes. Gears of War experience. Oh, sure. Cole said something. Let me jam my gun. <laughs> Damn. All right, he yelled something. I flipped out a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't all come on, but it was close enough. Yeah. There's an emergence in E-hole. One thing that did change is I got better at fucking plugging up these goddamn holes yeah. in the nine years between uh, the first game's release and right now. I made through the, I made it through this campaign plugging up a lot of holes. Whereas I remember the first couple times through. Is that actually useful? Does it stop more spawns? Yes. Okay. It does. It cuts off their their access. All right. That's the Gears of War campaign. You can play two player. I think it, it looks all right. Like again, you're you're right. It doesn't look as good as as modern games made for the platform. Yeah, but and I think that you know the, there's a lot of pacing and and just the dialogue is just a little ham. But yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's more kinda... about the content of what you're playing than the looks. Yeah, uh, it's it's not much fun. And you know, upping the difficulty just you know turns it into an exercise in patience. Just like how much longer do you want to spend behind cover? How many more bullets do you want to put into your enemies? It's, it doesn't necessarily improve the experience that much. I think the one difficulty up from normal is probably the sweet spot. Mm. Like, playing it on Insane was never much fun. Yeah, uh, I, I finished the first one on Insane. It was... Yeah, yeah. That ROM uh, fight was not fun. No, no. It's, it's not even fun on normal, honestly. It's not, not a great fight. Uh, so they have a bunch of different playlists. Competitive gets you more XP, but there are quit penalties. Social is a little more kind of just like... You know, get in there, shoot them up. Just roll around and shotgun some fools. Roll around, shotgun some fools. So playing the multiplayer actually really bums me out because yeah. looking at it running at a higher frame rate and stuff like that just further makes me think about, like, man, if they had treated the campaign with actual respect, uh, boy, they really could have done some cool work mm. uh, to making that better. Um, like seeing this thing running at 60, you're just kind of like, shit, man, fuck. Like, like that could have been great? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have solved the pacing problems. Yeah. It would have, you know, like there are still just boring things about the campaign that uh, that's just kind of the way it is now. But uh, to be fair, this this stuff doesn't look nearly as good as the campaign. I don't think it's a small area too. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm yeah, sure there yeah. are always going to be technical trade-offs, right? Yeah. But uh, is this, this is this is out officially, right? Yep. At, at the time of okay. Yes. Well, there's some people in here and leveling up quickly. Mm-hmm. Dude's level 16. Yeah, it, it's... I never played Gears 1 on PC, so I've never seen Gears running at this frame rate before. It's kind of weird. I guess it did run that way on PC, didn't I, it? I assume. I, I, I would mm, hope. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Now that I think about it, I, I guess I don't actually remember. Uh, either way, I, this is, you know, this this is strange. I've always thought of Gears as this, like, plotting, lumbering beast, you know? It, it like, definitely is. Like, like to, even, to you know, the, the frame rate almost is makes it is a little weird that way. Right. Because... Fire in the hole! Target my mark! Enemy 
marked. That's new, right? Or uh, new, new to Gears of War? Marking, I yeah, yeah, new to Gears of War oh. one. I, believe. I got shot. So yeah, my experience playing Gears of War multiplayer uh, in in this version of the game so far has been a lot like playing Gears of War Judgment and Gears of War Three yeah. and Gears of War Two, where you had people that stuck with it and got really good at rolling up behind you and shooting you with a shotgun. Sure. Like that? Like, like that, kind of. I mean, he was in front of me. But, I mean, uh, like it, it becomes a game of shotguns in a way that I just don't find entertaining at all. There, I mean, there are a tremendous number of ways to die in one hit in this thing. It's it's not just the shotgun. It's also the chainsaw. It's, uh, also, it's, yeah. also, it's also getting a grenade stuck on you. They changed some of the chainsaw mechanics in later games uh, to make for clashes and stuff like oh, that. Oh, right, but, right. Yeah, that's right. Well, in this, though, you know, when I, I've played some of the multiplayer in this, too. And, and yeah, it's... If you're not getting roll shotguns, you're getting chainsawed, you're getting a grenade stuck to you. Yeah. Uh, I think, isn't the, isn't the torque bow one, a one-hit kill? Uh, yeah, if it's fully charged and lands, uh, yeah, that will kill Like, you. there are so many ways to just get picked off without even knowing it's coming. Mm -hmm. That if you're not super on your toes, it can be pretty frustrating. But yeah, it just becomes people kind of rolling around quickly and rolling up behind you, sticking you with a grenade, rolling up behind you, shotgunning you, and, and I just, you know... Like, obviously, there's a skill to that. I'm not saying it's, like, cheap or whatever, Like, but it's, like, the decisions they made to build this multiplayer I find totally boring or, or like, frustrating. It's just, like, it's not it's not something I even want to get good at anymore. Uh, so, you know, like, when they started getting into horde mode and stuff like that, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, Gears like, 3 horde good, mode good, yeah. was such an amazing mode. What happened there? That I guy? think he died as he was chainsawing that guy. Okay. Oh, that guy tried to shoot me. Somewhere. Uh, you know, to be fair, the $40 remake is not where you're going to completely, like, upend and redesign the multiplayer. Sweet. You're totally right. But at some point, like, if they were going to if they were gonna focus so heavily on the multiplayer in this thing, maybe they should have just left the campaign out hmm. and issued this as, like, you know, hey, it's Gears of War, Gears of War 1 and 2 multiplayer maps all in one pack. Or, you know, like, hey, Gears multiplayer classic, or, you know, right. whatever the hell, and, and not... Target my and not ship like that kind of lackluster campaign. Whoa! It's a grenade. Grenades have a really big uh, area of effect. Yeah, they do. In, yeah. in this mode yeah. or in multiplayer here, I've noticed. Seems uh, like there are a bunch of weapon skins that I actually have, um, but it didn't let me choose any because we joined a, a match in progress, and, uh, and I couldn't pick a character and stuff like that too. You know, you got like civilian Anya and a bunch of. Stuff like that. Got the, um, got the Ice-T character. I believe so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's characters that did not appear in Gears of War 1, but... but we'll, we'll get back to the menu here and just kind of show you what's in it. They're animated skins and a lot of the stuff they sold for some insane amount of money in Gears 3. It's like 45, 50 bucks, I it think. Was, I, it was gar garbage, whatever it was. <laughs> it's like some insane price. But yeah, I obviously didn't have to buy it. No one had to buy that pack. Or did they? Oh, God. Sometimes you just... Sometimes it feels really good. Sometimes you need to put some hats on your guns. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, we've got Unarmored Marcus. Griffin, which that's Ice-T, right? That's, yes, that's the Ice-T uh, character. Yeah, civilian Anya. Adam Phoenix. Is that, is that your dad? Yeah. These are animated skins. Oh here. man, that sounds really stupid. Yeah, that's their Zach Wild shotgun. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's you know, I, I found the whole package to be pretty disappointing. But yeah. That's that's because I I have zero interest in playing competitive yeah. gears multiplayer. Yeah, it seems very much about how much you want. And you know, if if you want that, this seems like a decent stopgap for the next year and change. Yeah, like if you, yeah, if you want to get back to that and want it to look you know modern. That's an option. Uh, until Gears 4 is out. Yeah. Some pretty long loading times, I'll say, also. Uh, you know, when you when you die, it takes a long time to get going again. They got these comic books in here as you find the dog tags. I'm sorry, cog tags. Yes. You now unlock uh, pages of comic books. And... And it makes a gong noise when you have cleared a checkpoint. You mm. have to move on. It's Gears of War. It but, is Gears of War. But it hasn't aged especially well. Yeah. So uh, I would still rather play some of the stuff from Gears of War 2 or 3. And I bet that has aged a little bit better than this one. It's hard to go back. Uh, speaking of, it's probably worth pointing out that you get all those games by buying this. 
Uh, the 360 versions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I guess, what is it? You have to have played this by some date in December, I believe it is. Oh, okay, and then they'll, uh, they'll issue them to you then, and just, and right? Just, oh, actually, so you get all of them whenever backwards compatibility launches. Oh, okay, which okay. Which is, I think they're saying November. I believe that's the uh, case. They give you uh, they give you one, two, three in judgment, just like attached to your account by playing this game. Right. So yeah, that's that's um, okay. I've got Gears so, of War one here, not installed, but yeah. you know, like I went back and played a little bit of that. It like looks, even less reason to go play that now. It is a blurry mess. Yeah. It's insane to look at now, <laughs> yeah. but it's it's uh, really wild. But yeah, I don't know. Like they but, there there could have been so much more work put into this. Sure. So much more care for something that like Microsoft went out and bought and is trying to like carry forward. To kind of like pump out this stopgap that just feel it feels like, hey, we needed to relearn how to make a Gears of War game as we started making Gears Four, so we spent some time remaking Gears One, yeah. uh, or you know, getting the tech up and running on Xbox One. Like it just seems like something they got for free as a result of getting engines and stuff up and running, or so. I, I don't know. Like it just doesn't feel like enough work went into this for how important Gears of War was to Microsoft for so many years. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not the loving restoration maybe that it deserves, but yeah, I, it, it does seem kind of part and parcel with this kind of remake these days. Yeah, totally. So uh, if you care about Gears of War multiplayer, this has that, yeah. and it's sixty frames a second, and that's cool. If you don't care about that, uh, the campaign doesn't hold up, and I, I really wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Yep.